Good Friday morning to you guys in the YouTube vinyl community. Aaron back with a short form video, first in the series of uh, vinyl unboxing. I got four records coming in the mail today in two packages. So let's see here. I'm gonna unwrap these things right now and let's uh, see what I got in the mail today. Get into this. One piece of tape for the whole box. And this part wasn't even attached, so this wasn't actually a fairly easy one to open. Let's see if things arrived in good condition. I was a little worried this is a, an eBayer. Like I said, I stopped buying on eBay for various reasons, but this was an eBayer who had two records that I really wanted for dirt cheap. Alright, here we go. First thing we got, the Deer Hunter. This is a Migrant, should be on yellow vinyl here. So we got an insert with lyrics. Oh, I hate these paper sleeves. So sticky. Not a drip of warp. Yeah, there we go. Deer Hunter, if you're not uh, familiar with them, that's D-E-A-R, The Deer Hunter. Rabid fan base, things sell out super quickly normally, and their stuff can go for quite a bit. I picked this up for $15, and it usually runs anywhere between 50 and 60, I'd say. It was listed as being in near mint condition, and there's some dings at the top here, and then there's this really weird, uh, scrape in the the cardboard that wasn't mentioned but uh you know it's forgivable i bought this for the music for 15 bucks i'm not going to say anything the next one is a japanese band called toe it's like math math uh math rock is what they called it and this is an album called for long tomorrow they've done a few repressings of this but this is the extremely rare from a box set on rust colored vinyl only here again with the shitty paper sleeve hard to tell the conditions but it does look unplayed again not noticing any warp there this weird uh, rust color here let's check out the packaging okay again it said listed in near mint condition and this one appears yeah, I'd say that that's a fair, accurate description here. There's some song titles done in Japanese. A very cool band. I just discovered them and uh, again, paid $15 for this one. And there's none for sale and it hasn't sold like on discogs and stuff. So I'm not really sure what it would go for in the resale market, but I don't really care because I'm not reselling it. And that's... Uh, my ebay here and then the next package is from shop radio cast i'm super excited about this one i'm gonna bust it open right now way thicker packaging in my opinion way better packaging but that's because they are a professional company that knows what they're doing and not an ebay seller that has zero rating all right ah. there's two there we go. All right, there should be two kick-ass records in this package. All right. Order slip. There we go. First up, we have... It comes with inner sleeves and everything. They even took it out for me so they didn't get damaged. And shipping. The brand new release, Angels and Airwaves, I Empire. I've been waiting for this album to come out on vinyl and an affordable for, uh, form vinyl for um, like nine years, I think. This has been one of my favorite albums since right out of high school, really. Let's see here what it's got inside. So there we got the front cover, the back. Be pulled. Of course, it's in there in condition. 
Then we got uh, an insert with yes, with lyrics, a bunch of pictures. Oh, I love the smell. New release vinyl. This is on two LP. It looks like and again, shitty paper. That's the one thing I hate about these things is that they don't. Oh yeah, no work whatsoever. Gold vinyl. You, you figure that if you're paying thirty dollars for a new release record, that they could give you a a better inner. Sometimes they do, depending on the company that makes them. But it's a cost-cutting measure. But it also could lead to uh, scuffs and things like that. So I'm shocked I'm actually putting them back in there. But just for the purpose of this video, they won't ever see the paper again after today. There we go. Two LP. Gold Vinyl Angels and Airwaves. I'll be playing this one as soon as I'm done making that video. And lastly, while I was on the shop, Shop Radio Cast website, I went ahead and picked up a copy of Lit, A Place in the Sun. Whoa. They had it on sale, I believe, for like $19.99, which was super low compared to when they wanted you to pre-order it for $30 a couple, like a year or so ago. I guess they never sold out of their orange vinyl, so they lowered the price. Cool. Some lyrics. I love sitting, uh, sitting in my recliner, reading the lyrics along, sometimes singing along with the albums. It gives me the full experience, so that's pretty cool. 2LP, I believe the fourth side is an etching. Very cool splatter, splattered red and orange vinyl. Let's pull out that etching and then we'll call it a day on this video. Let's check a look. Check out, I didn't check for work on that side. No work. Etching. It is not a very cool etching. It is a person's face, and then I'm not really sure. Kind of a lazy choice for an etching. Can't really get a good feed on it. There you go. Nothing amazing, but it's a pretty cool album from my 20s, early 20s. So there we have it. Two kick ass packages, four records from today's mail. Catch you next time. Enjoy the music.